Hey guys, it's James Rashford coming at you from Minute Suites in Philadelphia Airport where I am taking some downtime between flights. I'm on my way uh, to Las Vegas for some business opportunities and maybe hopefully get in some hiking, hopefully driving over to Utah. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen, but I will play it by ear as I always do. So I want to talk to you guys a little today about really the topic that is central and near and dear to my heart, which is happiness. Now, this might seem weird to some people because happiness, that's just the thing, right? It's just the side effect of a good life. Well, I've been doing a lot of research on happiness and I've made it my number one priority in life for about the past eight years. A little bit of history on that. Um, going through my 20s, I was not really a happy person. I was trying to be. I was trying to live my best life and I was just miserably failing. And the truth of the matter is I wasn't living my best life. I was trying to live a version of life that I thought other people wanted for me, and I was doing a miserable job. I wasn't living up to those imaginary standards. I didn't achieve the things that I thought I was supposed to achieve according to, again, my imagined version of my parents or my family or even a couple of friends or the government or whatever. I just wasn't there. Um, and I was making slow progress. I'd gotten my first degree. I'd gotten into law school, but I was still kind of just not sure what I was doing. And it was around the winter of 2011 into 2012. I had, I, I mean, I remember the moment quite clearly. It was actually a, a crystal moment when I really changed my worldview. And what happened was I was dealing with some acute issues in my life that really forced me to take ownership of things. And um, I made a decision to come out to my family about my mental illness struggles and really start taking control over making happiness an active component of my life versus a passive hope that, w that was just maybe going to happen or maybe not. So um, at that point I made the affirmative decision to do what I wanted in life and to start making decisions for myself and not for others. And that was really a major step in my personal journey to happiness and some of the changes that I made where I kind of did a yes man thing and tried out a whole, new, whole bunch of new things, discovered hobbies that really made me passionate and settled on the whitewater kayaking routine that you all know. Eventually I graduated law school, became licensed, um, and started my own practice, which has been an opportunity for me to live my version of my best life. And it hasn't been all roses and violets, it hasn't been a complete success. Um, I've had to kind of reboot things a couple times along the way, and here I am in 2020, not necessarily having achieved a lot of my financial goals or even my kayaking goals, but I'm in a place where I really feel that I'm on the pathway to happiness. And I want to share with you some of my findings from the research that I've done, which includes reading a lot of self-help books, doing some academic research, reading psychiatric or, or psychological articles from academic research. And a lot of happiness research really comes down to a couple of core principles. And you're going to find these core principles in any self-help book that you're going to read that's, that's become popular and successful. It really comes down to basically four key principles. And those four key principles I'm going to tell you right now are intentionality, um, personality, that is to say being personal, um, setting priorities and values, and treating a process as a process and not as a destination. So let me go through those in a few minutes time. So intentionality is a very, very simple concept but very core to the real pursuit of happiness. What intentionality means is volition or the pursuit of your own will. And what that means is that in order to pursue the course of happiness, you can't simply follow a pathway that somebody else has prescribed for you. You can't do what other people tell you to do. You have to actually make an active choice to make intentional decisions about how you live your life. And this applies to every aspect of your life. It, it applies to things, everything ranging from diet, fashion, clothing, uh, career, and of course your hobbies, your relationships. All of the decisions in your life are gonna to have to be active and intentional in order for you to be living your happiest life. And again, we've got dozens and dozens of self-help books that are going to give you aspects of this and different approaches to taking this approach in life, but intentionality is going to be the number one, number one core component of any pursuit of happiness. So the second core component of pursuit of happiness, according to any self-help book you're going to read, is personalization. And what that means is that your pathway to happiness is going to be a personal matter. It's not for me to decide, it's not for somebody else to um, tell you, it's not for and it's not even for an author to create a formula that's going to work for everybody. The reality is, I've been trying to figure out the personnel, the, the formula that works for everybody, and there just isn't one. It's a personal pursuit, and everybody needs to figure out what works for them. 
Now personally, I've made these choices in terms of my career and my hobbies that reflect resources that I have, that I was given uh, by the universe without any choice or action of my own. I have intellectual resources, I have educational resources, and I have an economic background that has enabled me to be successful in all the ways that I am today, which not everybody has. A lot of people are stuck in unskilled work, a lot of people don't have the physical wherewithal to engage in active outdoor hobbies like I have. And what that means is that these things cannot be everybody's metric and they cannot be everybody's path. We all need to pursue our own individual and personal course to happiness. And so that's the second element you need to know, that your course of happiness needs to be personal. Now the third element is somewhat of a fusion of the first two, which is we need to talk about priorities, or we could also call it values. There's different ways to put this. And what I mean by this, and again, there's different terminology, I like to use the term priorities. And when I say priorities, what I mean is, I've got certain things in my life that I've chosen to make important. And again, we come back to intentionality. It's about what you choose to value, what you choose to make important in your life. But when you make these choices, you need to choose what you're going to focus on and what you're going to neglect. Because the reality is, you can't focus on everything and you can't have a perfect life. There are going to be compromises, there are going to be things that you can't focus on entirely. And by making those choices, what you're gonna do is you're gonna rank the things that you do and don't care about. And you're gonna have a priority list of the things that matter the most to you. And again, this is a, this is a concept I'm taking largely from one unpublished self-help book that I, um, that, I, that I read and um, that didn't make it to publication, but a lot of other self-help books are gonna give you the same kind of concept in different frameworks. So choosing your priorities and values is gonna be core to any pursuit of happiness. And finally, the last element that is pretty obvious maybe, but not everybody gets it, is that you are going to need to have a pathway that is a journey. And we can look at this different ways, we can use different words, we can use the old cliche, it's the journey, not the destination. And that's, well, I'm sorry it's cliche, but it's true. Happiness is about living a life in a certain way. It's not about getting to a certain point. It's not the American dream. It's not having a great house and a great nuclear family, great relationships, financial wealth. All of those things are nice, but those things are not the destination of happiness. Happiness is gonna come from the pathway of the, the, tr the, the path that you're living on and the continual decisions that you're making in your life are going to make you happy or not make you happy. So it's gonna be a process and that's really what you need to focus on in the end. So those are some kind of key takeaways from my research on happiness. And I'm gonna do a lot more with this video series if people give me the feedback that they think it's worth watching and that this has been valuable to you. So please give me feedback. This is my first video blog post on this kind of topic. And if it's effective, we're gonna continue on further I've got a lot more to say about this topic and we can go into a lot more detail about each of these four basic truths. So thank you for watching. Please give me feedback and I look forward to seeing you again.